I'm sorry, Jeffree Star. I'm sorry that you are, quite frankly, the most horrendous person I've ever seen on the internet. I'm sorry that you love to live in your lap of luxury with your expensive cars painted garish colors and your really, really pretty boyfriend, but yet you seem to sit in your ivory tower spewing venom at those you deem below you. When really your ivory tower is just some little set at a fucking mini golf course. That you will not probably last the test of time like you think you will. And that everything you say, on the internet at least, will be cataloged for those to read for years and years to come. I'm sorry that everything that you did 10 years ago has been brought up now because of stuff you've done in the past five months. I'm sorry that you think that only apologizing for what you did 10 years ago erases what you did in these past five months. I'm sorry that you think that just because you did a racist skit 10 years ago and then just a few a week ago you put your assistant in your new lipstick video that that somehow counteracts saying, I doused her in acid to lighten her skin because she was too dark. I'm sorry that even if it was a skit, people take everything you say seriously. I'm sorry that maybe if you hadn't gotten into a Twitter slash Snapchat argument with Makeup by Shayla and insulted her, the, your apology might have gone over better. I'm sorry that no matter who you were defending, it doesn't matter because you threatened to hit her, you threatened to beat her, you and you called her a cunt, and you called and you said she sounded like a man. You said she had fucked up cheek fillers, but yet what were you defending? You were defending someone who she has said you need that you need imp fillers, and you insult her face, which may or may not be fillers. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. When defending someone else, I feel like you shouldn't have to insult the other person because there's a bunch of good arguments. When something has to get come down to you insulting their appearance or just insulting and swearing at them, it means your argument's invalid at that point because it means that you can't really think of anything better to say. So congrats, you, you won that one, didn't you, really? I'm sorry that you have two documented cases of assaulting female fans, no matter what the circumstance was, you have two documented cases of assaulting female fans on top of threats to assault another woman the next time you see her over a comment that wasn't even made to you. Now, I am going to quickly say that that doesn't mean that Shayla's comment wasn't out of line. Honestly, I don't know what was said because I wasn't there and 90% of us weren't there. And nobody except Jeffrey repeats what has been said. Not the girl, not Shayla, nobody. I feel like this comment was probably just taken out of context, it was not taken out of context, but exposed on, exposed on too much. Like, there's a lot of embellishment there. There we go. But that doesn't mean that anything like that, any kind of insult like that, like your face is disproportionate, there's something wrong with your face, nothing like that should ever be said to somebody. Even if you asked, even if the question asked was, do you think I should get fillers? It doesn't matter. I'm sorry, Jeffrey, that people are starting to realize that maybe you don't care about your fans as much as you say you do, because just because a fan used a clickbait title, you ripped into him, only to find out after people te after it's already gone viral, oh, the video just said he loves you. It just came, he bought it broken, and he was sad. Yeah, but you and people filled your head with lies. If you have enough time to smoke weed, 
you have enough time to sit down and watch somebody's video to find out what the fuck they said about you. You have enough time to sit there and be Twitter happy, be vitriol all damn day. You have time to type out 10 tweet apologies, but you don't have time to watch people's videos when they say something about you, positive or negative. I'm just, I'm kind of not over it. I'm frustrated because Jeffree Star, you built a brand like nobody cared about your past. It's about what you've been doing recently that gives people reason to dig in your past. Dodir, well, we dug in Dodir's past and we have to keep bringing it up because it's a consistent history of shitty behavior. And this is what we're getting from you as a member of the African American beauty community. I am sickened and disgusted by the fact that you just can't seem to wrap your head around the fact that each thing you do to each person counts because you are famous. That is why all of your deleted tweets where you can now say, I didn't say anything about Shayla's grammar. I didn't say she had fucked up cheek fillers. I didn't say I beat that bitch into the ground. If you go to postghost.com slash Jeffree Star, you can read all of your deleted tweets. Even if you screwed up typing something or you fucked up a link on something you posted to Twitter, it doesn't matter. Every tweet is still there. Arguments you had with somebody and they left their tweet up but you deleted your reply, still there. It links to everything. There's proof. And that's the worst part. There are receipts. And when people show you these receipts, you throw out a 10 tweet apology about half of the receipt. What about the other half? Have you apologized about insulting Shayla's looks? Insulting Shayla's financial status? And, start, and, and basically trying to crumble her career because of one comment at, a, at an event that only three people heard. Have you apologized sincerely, sat down and like apologized to people who have dissenting opinions and instead of calling them broke rats and saying you're ugly, you're disgusting, say, you know what? I understand that this is something that you don't like about me and I'll work hard in the future to, pre to be a better person. And I'm sorry that you feel that way about me, but I will be better. Because you are a role model. You are a role model to boys who wear makeup. You are a role model to boys who want to go into music, to androgynous boys who just, maybe they don't wear makeup, but they just put off a feminine appearance. You are a role model to people. And the fact that you walk around like you're some kind of princess or something in an ivory tower with your pink hair and how you think you're so untouchable because what? Because your brand makes money? Because you sell pot in California and that's what adds to your work, your net worth? Or because you're just, fam you're just famous and you feel like that's what's important? Just because not everybody's... What about... What if somebody... Like, what if a Kardashian started talking shit about you? Like, actually started talking shit about Jeffrey? Would you truly and honestly be able to sit there knowing, like... Would you be able to sit there and not say anything knowing... You can't say nothing. Your bank account don't match up. Right? It's always about bank accounts. It's like... You're always talking about your bank account and how everyone else is a broke rat. To them, you a broke rat. And I'm not trying to call you a broke rat. That's not appropriate at all. The point is, you can't say these things and not expect. What if the tides were turned on you? You just need one person. One person to notice your behavior. And one person to say something to you. And then it's over. But yeah, I'm sorry, Jeffrey. Not, I already said I wasn't going to buy your stuff anymore. Now I'm actively working with other people to make sure that other people don't buy your makeup anymore. And hopefully you'll fade into obscurity like you were supposed to in the first place. Have a good life.